Hi, welcome back to Shore. This is Nice Guy Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to make my bourbon barrel aged cocktail. Uh, with this cocktail, I start out with peaches. I use three to five peaches, which I slice up, I take the pits out, and I char grill them on the grill to give them a little smoky flavor. Um, I also add three vanilla beans to my infusion jar. Start out with a nice clean infusion jar, by the way. Um, and the way I work with the vanilla beans, these long thin beans, I just slice them right down the middle. And all the goodness is inside here. A lot of people like to scrape it out. I don't really scrape it out. I just go ahead and put it right in the jar. It'll all infuse together and you'll still get those same flavors. Um, next, I go ahead and I add two capfuls of Peychaud bitters, like a Sazerac style bitters, red bitters. I add two capfuls to my jar. And then to go along with the peach flavor, I add a 375 milliliter bottle of Mathilde peach liqueur. This stuff is fantastic. Really nice quality liqueur. Pour it right on top there. And then two bottles of Old Forester bourbon. These are liter bottles. Go ahead and pour that in the mix. All right. One bottle down. Anyway, you want to get your jar as full as you can. It's nice to uh, not have oxygen in there. It's better to be all liquid if you, if you can pull it off. And it looks like I've just made it on my jar there. Perfect. So this one's going to need to infuse for about five days. And uh, I'll set it on the back bar here. Now, this is what the product looks like after five days. And what I do is I go ahead and uh, just pop the top. <clears throat> it's only halfway open, so everything's not going to come out at once. Just my liquid is coming out into my pitcher. All right. Making a little bit of a mess. Okay, now I've dumped it out. I've still got some peaches in here. Uh, but there are some particles that did make it through into the pitcher. So what you want to do when you're filling up your barrel is run it through a nice thin strainer. And uh, I go ahead and just pour it right in. Slow and steady, catching all the little pieces of debris. And once that's full, I'll take it in the back and let it sit in the back. I usually work with two barrels. So I've got one on the bar that we're actually pouring out of and then one in the back aging. And when this one runs out, I go get that one and make a fresh batch. Usually they age in the barrel for about two weeks, but it really depends on how busy your bar is. Um, hope you've enjoyed making my Nice Guy Mike's Bourbon Barrel Aged Cocktail. Thank you very much.